All right. So if we remember correctly from the past part, you know, it's a few interesting years. Microsoft's writing stuff for Apple and making hard, some hardware for Apple and basically making Apple work. It's 1981. Apple is not Microsoft's only customer. 1981. The formerly mentioned Digital Research OS, which was the whole reason for the Z80 cards, just screwed up their supply with IBM. Basically, IBM wanted a good deal and they wouldn't do it. So, in inserts this little company called Microsoft. Uh, and they say, hi IBM, we have an operating system for you. We call it DOS. Needless to say, IBM was in the market for a new operating system, so that's what happened. The deal's worked out. IBM starts giving Microsoft money for DOS. Microsoft now has money. Microsoft now has a lot of money. As a they get millions off of this deal as opposed to the 30-some-odd thousand they were getting off of Apple for supplying AppleSoft Basic. They now actually have money to do things. This is important to note because later that year, September 1981, Microsoft starts this project called the Interface Manager. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, Microsoft started working on GUI Computing 2. Not in 1983, as all the Apple people suppose, but in 1981. What allowed them to do that was selling DOS to IBM. They finally had enough money to be able to fund research projects like this. Now there's other interesting things that started happening here. Around the same time, a person by the name of Charles Samoya, and I'm sure I've mispronounced his name, as well as several other people from the Palo Alto Research Center, started going to work for Microsoft. And these people brought over their work, object-oriented language, programming skills, so on. Basically, the things they developed for the Palo Alto Research Center, they brought over to Microsoft because it was their work. They could give it to Microsoft. They had to recreate some things, but it was their work. Microsoft didn't steal it. They got the people who made it for Xerox to make it for them. This is this one name. As I find the others, I'll list them in the thing. It's like around this time, from 79 to the 82, a lot of people from Park went to work for Microsoft and Apple. The, the reason I name Charles is because this is the guy that, um, you know, brought over the WYSIWYG documentation. Uh, he also developed large parts of Word and uh, Multipan, which was later become Excel. You know, he created the virtual machine environments, which made all of this stuff very portable. Uh, it's like, this is the basic core technology of Windows, of what, what was to later become Windows. It was this guy's work. He brought it over in 1981. 1982. A day that the Apple people will forever blame this on. Steve Jobs is kicked out of Apple. Well, he hasn't kicked out of Jobs, but... He was forced out of the Lisa project, but this was the beginning of him starting to get kicked out of Apple. He was kicked off of Lisa, and so he joined the Mac. Brought all the things, you know, over. Later, the Lisa uh, 210 would be modified to be the Macintosh XL back when Apple was... Oh, how can we rename it and squeeze more money out of it? But it's like, anyways. For all intents and purposes, 
as far as OSYs and other things, the Mac and the Lisa were very much a similar computer. Now, I, I know that's blasphemy and I saw it because they're in no way, shape, or form similar machines. Here, here was the thing. The Lisa cost just under ten grand in 1983 when it came out, which is roughly the equivalent to twenty to twenty-five thousand dollars in today's money. Whereas the Mac was considerably cheaper, and the Mac was considerably cheaper because it had no bells or whistles you didn't need. The original Mac did not even actually have a hard drive. So, here's the thing. So, now let's get into the nitty gritty, which is where an unfortunate sequence of events has forever tainted this. And these are the things, the facts. Like, I've explained the history up to this, but these are the things that Apple people who want Apple to have invented the sky hold on to. 1983, January, the Apple Lisa is unveiled. November, 1983, Microsoft announces the Interface Manager project under the name Windows. It was changed to Windows a f some reports say a week before, some reports say a few months before. It wasn't very long before. Bill Gates was in love with the idea of Interface Manager. People convinced them Windows would be better. So, if you look at this from an outside observer and you don't know about any of the past stuff going on, which the public didn't know about at this point, you think, January, Apple comes out with this thing called the Lisa. November, Microsoft's saying they got a similar thing. They're copying us. No, they're not. <laughs> They've been working on it for a while. The difference is they didn't have the Steve Jobs, the ship that leaks from the top. <laughs> Now we have more things that make it more confusing. <laughs> like I said, Windows was announced in November of 1983. It took a while for Windows to show up on a stage. For a while, a lot of people thought it was vaporware. The official debut of the Macintosh was in December of 1983. That was where they first showed that Super Bowl ad of the We will inform you will not be it's like whatever. <laughs> there was an earlier one in October, but that was a press only one. It was basically you know, keep in mind, this is the early 80s, so they had to invite the press ahead of time so they could get things and get them to their editor and get all the stuff out by January. So the press came early, then there was the public one in December, and then there was the Super Bowl ad in, you know, the next month. So some things you'll find will say, Microsoft announced before the Mac was ever announced. Some things will say the Mac came first. The private... Macintosh announcement was October. The public Windows announcement was November. The public Macintosh announcement was December, January. Oh, let the war begin! <laughs> and I'm up on time, so I'm going to have to cover how the rest of this unfolded in one more part. See you there!